it's starting to rain. So I'm not sure exactly why I have an idea, but I'll have to get into the wall to find out. But uh, I've never seen this happen. Uh, people say it happens, but I generally don't believe them. But I need to find out the reason. So I took some separate video that I'll have to put together for, I'll do an Instagram uh, short, also for YouTube, kind of explaining the whole thing. But it's kind of interesting and I'm gonna... Have I mentioned that I love troubleshooting? Especially when I figure out what the problem is. So a few weeks ago, um, I was on a troubleshooting call where uh, the tenant had lost power to their uh, dryer. Got out there and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. It was a dedicated circuit from the panel. <clears throat> the breaker um, had power going out of it and it was dedicated, as far as I could tell, to the outlet. Um, I could see part of the wire in the wall because it had been opened from you know previous work or whatever. It was in the garage. <clears throat> and um, uh, I tested it. Power was leaving the circuit and power was in the wire but it didn't get to the outlet itself and so I had done a lot of troubleshooting and um, I almost um, gave up so I actually have three theories as to why or how this could have happened um, at this point I can't tell so I'm gonna have to dig into it but I'll find out the answer and um, but uh, just as I was leaving I was thinking about it and I finally determined what the problem was so this is actually a, um, a good um, learning lesson and is what I'm going to try to do is piece together a bunch of video that I recorded uh, while I was there and uh, hopefully it's a good lesson we can actually learn a couple of lessons from this one um, and so I don't really want to say too much about it because I'll actually show you uh, with the video here that I'm going to record so unfortunately uh, when I went out there to troubleshoot it um, uh, I was out there for a while and I ended up figuring out what the problem was um, but I didn't fix it I needed to get approval to fix it and so I sent in my um, uh, you know my my estimate to get the work or the the problem fixed I didn't get approval uh, to go back the owner um, basically uh, took my work uh, the time that I was there and the troubleshooting um, that I did to determine the problem and gave the work to somebody else after I figured out what the problem was so this is another subject which I actually have talked about in the past but uh, I just want to stick to this one issue which actually is a really good learning lesson uh, for troubleshooters electricians that are troubleshooting as well as uh, just your regular homeowners that either are, are going to see this problem that we'll talk about or uh, who don't understand electricity and cause this problem to happen. What we have is uh, a 30 amp circuit. So the dryer is a 30 amp dryer. It's on a uh, 30 amp two pole breaker. Um, but the wire is a 12 gauge wire. So in the video I, I, I say that it's a, a 14 gauge wire. I, I describe it as a 15 amp circuit. So this is a case of number 14 wire on a 30 amp circuit breaker. So uh, it's actually a 12 gauge wire, but the same issue applies. Uh, the same problem will arise uh, when you're putting basically 30 amps on an undersized wire. So if you're putting 30 amps on a uh, 15 amp circuit, which is 14 gauge wire, or if you're putting 30 amps on 12 gauge wire, which is a 20 amp circuit, the same thing, the same thing will happen over time. And um, I actually had never seen the result of this in the past, and it's really interesting. So I did take some videos. Of I can I can actually show you what the problem is. You'll see, um, and you know if it were prolonged, if I didn't get called out any sooner, the the, the problem could have got worse, and then we ended up with, you know, like a fire, uh, this type of thing. Something could have melted or or what have you. So this is a very good lesson. And um, so here we go. I'll show you the video now. Basically, that plug all the way down there draws 30 amps or close to 30 amps, and the wire that's going to it is only made for 15 amps. So the wire, which is Romex, uh, going from that panel to that outlet down there, is actually damaged inside. I'm in a low ceiling basement here. Uh, but in these next three clips, uh, there's two things you could pay attention to. Uh, first of all, you're going to see uh, yellow number 12 Romex. 
uh, passing through some studs. Uh, and you'll see right at the stud is also a uh, copper pipe and the Romex directly adjacent to the copper pipe um, has the slightest burn mark. Now I believe that that is actually caused by the hot water pipe itself uh, causing excessive heat and burning the exterior of the Romex. Uh, but at the end of the third clip you'll see a clue which I'll show you more of later but you'll see a clue if you look close at the Romex uh, you'll see something that I missed uh, when I first looked at these um, first images. So take a look. So I know these clips are kind of crazy. I was like on the floor underneath the sink, like trying to get my phone like in the wall. So, um, but the next two clips here, you're going to see, uh, you will actually see the problem. And uh, I didn't actually see this until I resolved to stay and figure out what the problem was. So I missed it the first uh, three times I looked at the wall. Uh, I missed this. Um, but you'll see it now, it's pretty clear. There's two clips and it's it's pretty clear if you look close. You look at the Romex, um, it's not uh, directly visible because the problem is actually on top uh, of the Romex, but you can clearly see that the Romex is damaged uh, and what that damage looks like when uh, 30 amps is put on 20 amp wire. So it's pretty interesting and I wish I had uh, been able to go back to actually do the entire repair so I could take the Romex out of the wall and show you uh, exactly what uh, this causes but you'll still get a good idea um, here at these next two clips so take a look and uh, these are good lessons learned here So on this clip here is what you're going to see in just a second is what I finally noticed and right here you're going to see it. So right that right there is a wire that's been damaged by overcurrent. Uh, we're looking at the bottom of the wire, the damage is on the top of the wire. So over the years that that plug and that wire have been there, uh, that 15 amp wire has been drawing almost 30 amps on it. It's not made for that much current. So uh, it's my guess that uh, this is caused by, or this was caused by one of two things. Um, either this circuit was originally a normal, like a 20 amp or a 15 amp circuit for a regular type receptacle, and someone just took the breaker out and took the receptacle out, put a new breaker, and put a new receptacle in that were oversized, and that means that they're a 30 amp um, breaker on 20 amp wire. Or uh, someone was putting a dedicated circuit in and they didn't understand that this size of the wire is very important. Uh, the size of the wire um, should be sized along with the circuit breaker as well as the outlet, uh, the receptacle for the appliance that you're installing it for. So one of those two things. In either case, uh, the result is the same. So this is a good uh, lesson learned. And I hope it's been helpful. I know it's been a longer video, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. So uh, remember to uh, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.